What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca and today I'm gonna show you how you can easily make your own website for free using Google Sites. As always, the first thing that you need to do is go to google.com and make sure that you're logged in here in the top right corner. You'll see your picture right here, your Google account. I'm now gonna click the waffle iron and I want to go to Sites. And if I click on it, it will bring me to this page right here. This is actually the old Google Sites page. You wanna go to the new Google Sites. And by doing that, you see right here, new Google Sites. Click on that. And these are the sites that I am either the creator of or it has been shared with me and I am an editor on. So what I wanna do is create a brand new site because I've created this Google Doc that I want to spice up into a website so that it's easier for people to view it and it's more user friendly. It's time to start building a brand new site. So if you go down to the bottom right hand corner, you see that create new site button, that plus icon. And if you click on it, it's going to bring you to a blank template new page just like in Google Docs slides the same on. You have over here your text box, your images that you can insert, you can embed a link, you could add something from your Google Drive, and you can do anything in this uh, page right here. This is the, the website page, what it's gonna look like. First, I'm gonna title it, and I'm gonna call this Mr. Vaca's Toolkit 2020. And then I wanna title my page. I usually like to title my page the same thing that I have it saved as, the title, so it's easy to find. And I can always edit and change any of this at any point in time. I can then change it to either be a title that looks like this, I could have it as a heading, which makes it smaller. You don't have full control over it, kind of like how you would in other website builders, but because this is free, um, I think you know it's a little limited, but their goal is to make it easy to use. So like right now I'm going to stretch it out because I want it all one, full bar. So I just stretched it out and it was able to make it there. I could make it bold if I wanted to. I do want it centered so I don't have to fix that, but you know, now it went back to being a little too big. So now what I want to do is open up a new tab and I'm going to go to my Google Drive because that's where I have created and stored my distance learning toolkit. So I'm going to open it up and every single tab that you see here is a different video and I have it under a different category like Google Classroom. I want to create my website kind of like how I have this toolkit set up and I'm going to create this Google Classroom section first. So if I go here, I'm now going to look at the different layouts. Do I want it to have a picture with writing on the side, pictures with two writings, have it just images, three, two in a horizontal way, or I could try to make it four. Because I have so many different videos, I kind of want to make it four. Now, I want to actually add a text box above this to show that it's the Google Classroom section. So I want to go back up here to insert. I'm going to click text box, and here's where it says Google Classroom Tutorials. And now I kind of want it to be a heading. Oops. And now I want it to be centered. I want to make it bold. And now I don't want it there. I want it moved up above the video. So I'm going to click this right here. You see how it's the two vertical rows of dots and or columns. I'm going to lift it up there, drop it, drag and drop, and now it's above. So now I can add four different things. I'm going to click this add button and I want to upload a YouTube video. Then they're going to ask what is the YouTube video that you want to insert. So if I just go back here, I'm now going to copy that link. Go back here, paste that link, search, there it is. Click on it, click select, and bam, there's one video, how to create and join a Google Classroom in 2020. Now I wanna do the same thing over here. I wanna to go to another YouTube video, go back here, go to this one, copy that, back here, paste, search, click, select. Okay, now I can do that again if I want. I can just click another one of these, then I got another four, but now I wanna get rid of this. I made a mistake, I don't want four there. I only want two more there. You can then click the delete section right here, and you have more options where you can click this, and that just makes a copy of the same exact row, 
or this right here is the selection of the background and you could have different colors or if you wanted to use a picture, you could use a picture from your um, desktop that you've saved or from your computer or an image that has been pre-selected over here by Google or you could just search the URL or you know, say I want to do president. And you know, here's this, I could click that, I could click select, and that could be the background. So again, you can do whatever you want here. I like to sometimes use this emphasis. It kind of matches what you have up here. You can do the same thing here with the change image for the top uh, selection of the website. So I like to use the Google stuff a lot actually. And then it will change the font to adjust to the readability to make sure that it's automatically uh, easy to read for the user. Now, let's say I want to create another page within this page. So I don't want everything like right here, like Google Classroom tutorials. Let's say I want to insert a new page. So I click from insert the pages up here in the top right. Then I click new page. I want to call this page Google Hangouts Meet. Click done. Now I have the home page, which is what we were just working on, and Google Hangouts Meet. Now here, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna insert, uh, I'm gonna do four videos, but first I want a text box. I wanna move that text box up here. And now I can do the same exact process. Go through here, find my YouTube video, put the link up, so on and so forth. You could also add collaborators like in any other Google Apps for Education. There's a plus sign with the person. You click it and then you can enter the email address and get whoever you want to be a participant. Now, it's time to publish your site. You finish building it, everything's ready to go, and you want to share it with the world. What you want to do is click publish. And when you do that, it's then going to say, this is the website address that you can nickname so that people can find your site easily. So I could just call this Mr. Vaca Toolkit. And it says it's okay. This is the full site right down here. I'm then going to manage who can view my site because I don't want people just in my district. I want it so that anybody can view it. And I, when it's published, I want to change that so that anyone on the web can find it. I then click save. Now I'm going to click done. Now publish. I can request public search engines not to display my site. So if you were to go to Google and type in Mr. Vaca Learning Toolkit 2020, it'll pop up. It is a Google search. But if I hit this, it won't do that. But I want it to pop up. So I'm going to click publish. And now my site is live. If I want to share this, all I need to do is click this link icon right here. It's going to give me the full website link. I'm going to copy it. I can then put it in my Google Classroom. I can put it on Facebook. I can put it in a text message. I can put it anywhere that you have social media, whatever you like, people can now view your site. And again, it's totally free. Tons of more editing capabilities, uh, ways that you can really fine tune it and make it look really cool. There's a web, like computer based version versus a phone based version. There's a lot of cool things that you can do. So if you want any more tutorials on Google sites, please leave a comment down in the section box below. And please share this video out. Hit that subscribe button if you're interested. Maybe you want to see a couple more videos. I'm doing a lot of tutorials now that we're all stuck at home. And uh, the thumbs up helps out the channel a lot. If you don't mind, that would be great. Thanks again for everything. Don't forget to wash your hands, work hard, play hard, and I'll catch you next time.